Hey lovelies, how's everybody doing? Um, I hope that you're all coping okay. Um, turns out that uh, I need to step away from the fridge because I was developing a tan from the fridge light and come out and get some natural light and some sunlight. Um, and uh, you're noticing anything different today? Notice anything different? Anything different? No? Yes, stop the press. I've actually got dressed. Hoorah! I know. See, look, even even sirens are going off because I've got dressed. That's how happy we are. This is this is a major thing. Listen, heralding the fact that Nancy Stevens has got her ass out of the house and got dressed. I know. Who knew this was going to be such a big thing? Um, I've already been out today. I'm um, doing my uh, couch to 5K. Thanks, Andy uh, Oxford, for the uh, the tip. Um, doing it with Joe Wiley, not literally with Joe Wiley. Um, although I did interview her last year at Amtel Festival and uh, what an amazing female broadcaster and role model she is, she's fantastic. So I've got her chirping in my ear telling me that I can do this and um, yeah, it's quite worrying to think that it's going to take me nine weeks to build up to 5Ks. When in the not so distant past I could do 5Ks fairly easily um, and back in the, well, maybe 10, 20, 15 years ago I was able to do 10Ks, albeit under extreme duress, hated it. I think I was nearly sick a few times. Um, and I had to. I had my personal trainer at the time pushing me around, telling me I could do it. I'm not built for speed. I'm not built for running. But as I say, if you don't like exercise, um, I think you know you really do have to find what works for you. Um, it's a very, very personal thing. And uh, yeah, lots of people are doing Joe Wicks. Personally, not uh, not a massive fan. Um, he's like the David Beckham of exercise. Can't bear the way he speaks. So sorry for those Joe Wicks fans out there. I do online um, online with. Adrian at uh, yoga and uh, she's really great and it works for me but I say the podcast uh, couch to 5k's is working okay so far nine weeks to go though that looks a long long time um, but yeah so um, missing the theater I'm sure my lovely friends out there are missing the theater too but there's uh, there's there's been some great theater on telly um, I know Joseph was screen Andrew Lloyd Webber is doing um, some shows which is fantastic and last night I watched the National Theatre Live James Corden One Man Two Governors and it was absolutely fantastic um, I, I was actually in One Man Two Governors um, about four or five years ago uh, we were the first amateur dramatics company in the whole country to actually put the show on after it had been at the National so that was quite an honour can't say that I particularly enjoyed being in it it was a whole a whole heap of trauma and I uh, got incredible stage fright when I was singing um, really put me off performing for a very long time um, and I've never really got my confidence back with that but um, hey ho you know maybe I'm just not a natural performer um, so yeah, uh, and I think Rocky Horror, the Rocky, Hor Rocky Horror Show is going to be on YouTube. So maybe we should all get our fish nets on, uh, fish nets on, and uh, you know, let's do some some time warping to cheer ourselves up, have a, a Rocky Horror show, uh, party. I think that would be a really great idea. Um, so yeah, feeling feeling better, feeling more um, in control of things today. For how long is another story? Feeling quite smug. I've got my smoothie here. Uh, it's spinach and kale. And I've devoured most of my lovely muesli and yogurt mix for breakfast. So that's, that's a good start to the day because yesterday I did not cover myself in glory. By five, six o'clock, I'd eaten a whole box of Waitrose fudge and three quarters of a packet of cheese thins. Hmm, thins. Turns out if you eat a whole packet of thins, you're not going to be thin. Really? Just... I don't know. They were very, they were very yummy, and I, I just, yeah, I couldn't help myself, but it didn't feel very good afterwards. Um, I remember when I first came to the UK, didn't really understand the, the concept of low calorie or diet food, and thought there was, you know, it was perfectly acceptable to eat three or four bowls of Special K for breakfast every day, and wondered why I wasn't losing weight. Hmm. Yeah, learnt that. Put on three stone in my first year when I, when I guess I was. 20, 21 when I first came here so I arrived at nine stone and by the end of 1988 I was a full 12 stone so three stone in a year well at this rate I'll be three stone in three months so you know <laughs> yeah maybe that's why I'm trying smoothies first thing in the morning how's everybody else coping with eating I'm seeing some hilarious stories on on the socials about um you know everybody struggling with with the eating I don't know if it's a boredom thing or I don't know but curious to know how everybody else is coping um, so yeah, I 
finding the, the vlog really really cathartic and i've had so many positive responses people messaging me privately and also on facebook or instagram saying thank you so much a lot you know looking forward to your vlog every day so uh, to this end i've set up a youtube channel now so all the vlogs are on there uh, confessions of a menopausal mummy are on there and my podcast will be up there as well at some point as well so it's nancy stevens arts and style on youtube um, but i'll post the link to um to, the, to my youtube channel below after this post so i hope you enjoy it um, so i want to do this for ages um, no excuse it's not like i don't have the time now so yeah so i hope everybody's okay as i say let me know what you're up to and you're surviving and you're not eating you know eating yourself into a massive you know oompa loompa because uh yeah so that is that's a real challenge for a lot of people so uh, and facetime let's all facetime each other a bit more let's keep in touch because it's very easy to become isolated um i facetimed um both my kids yesterday uh, my brother my mum, and it was just lovely just to see people's faces it makes such a difference so and especially if you know people are living on their own just just take a spare a thought for them as to how hard this must be i can't imagine what that must be like I live with my sister, well, my sister lives with me, and uh, it's really lovely having that company. So, uh, as I say, spare a thought for those who, who don't have that. So, uh, I hope everybody's coping okay. Uh, try and enjoy some um, safe uh, social distance um, sunning yourself today. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you and see what everybody's up to. Love you lots, guys. Mwah.